Hello, I'm Scott Temple with the University of Utah. Today I'm going to be discussing LS Oracle, an open source tool for performing mixed logic synthesis. First, I'm going to give a little bit of background on logic synthesis and its place in the EDA toolchain. In particular, we'll focus on directed acyclic graphs and a special type of directed acyclic graph, the majority inverter graph, which is used in LS Oracle. Then I'll move on to giving an overview of LS Oracle, including its basic structure and the benefits that can be obtained by using it. We'll then discuss the meat of this particular work, which is the integration of LS Oracle with the Open Road toolchain. First, we'll discuss Open Road itself, and then we'll discuss how LS Oracle can fit into that. We'll then give some discussion on our ongoing research and what you can expect of LS Oracle in the future, and then we'll conclude with some discussions on how to get started using LS Oracle. The EDA toolchain is complex, but at a high level, it can be divided into three steps. Behavioral synthesis, logic synthesis, and physical synthesis. Logic synthesis is the conversion of a design from an RTL level to a gate level implementation. Because all subsequent steps use this gate level implementation, it's a very important part of the EDA flow with a strong impact on the performance of downstream tools. There are a variety of techniques that can be used for logic synthesis, including manipulation of truth tables, binary decision diagrams, and directed acyclic graphs, but we'll focus on directed acyclic graphs. There are two types of directed acyclic graph, which you need to know for this talk. The first is the AND inverter graph, as used by the popular tool ABC. In an AND inverter graph, or AIG, nodes in the graph represent the AND of two function. Edges represent connections between nodes and can either be regular or inverted, representing the NOT function. AIGs are a good all-around choice and are excellent for random and control logic. Majority inverter graphs, or MIGs, are a recent innovation which use the majority of three function for each node and edges, again, regular or inverted. MIGs are a superset of AIGs, meaning that AIG logic can be implemented in MIGs by adding a constant. MIGs are excellent for arithmetic logic because the majority function efficiently represents the carryout. For an example of this, take a look at the diagram on the left, where we see a full adder represented using both AIGs and MIGs. In the AIG example, a full adder requires seven nodes and has four levels of logic depth. These broadly represent area and delay post-tech mapping, although it's not quite that simple. In the MIG example, it requires only three nodes and two levels of logic depth. A clear advantage for optimizing arithmetic logic. Other types of directed acyclic graph are also possible. For example, the XOR AND graph, or XAG, but those are outside the scope of this talk. Why is mixed logic synthesis desirable? As we established, Neither AIGs nor MIGs are ideal for all types of circuits. AIGs perform best on control logic, MIGs perform best on arithmetic logic. However, in the real world, most designs have multiple types of logic, particularly with the proliferation of SOCs and other complex designs. As such, a combination of optimization methods is desirable for large designs. However, Hiring engineers to do such an optimization manually is cost prohibitive for many small projects. So, if possible, we would like to automatically select the best representation and optimization recipe for each small part of a complex design. That's what LS Oracle does. The key idea is to automatically apply either AIG or MIG optimization to the control or arithmetic portions, respectively, of the design without human intervention in order to maximize performance. In order to accomplish this, we first partition the whole circuit into minimally dependent sub-circuits using K-way hypergraph partitioning. We then classify each partition for either AIG or MIG optimization using a heuristic. We then classify them 
and finally, we merge them back into an MIG network. This is because MIG is a superset of AIG, and the AIG network can be merged in without any loss. We then pass the MIG network either to the internal tech mappers or to downstream tools for further synthesis. The diagram to the right shows the fundamental structure of the program. LS Oracle is available either as a standalone tool or as a Yozis plugin and is built upon industry-leading libraries such as the EPFL logic synthesis libraries and libABC for some functionality. It supports LUT mapping natively for both AIG and MIG partitions and has an experimental native ASIC technology mapper. However, for this work, we are using an external ASIC mapper, as will be detailed later. This approach has proven benefits. The graph below shows LS Oracle and its mixed synthesis approach compared to using AIG alone or MIG alone. The graph is normalized to the AIG result and shows an average of 10 benchmarks selected from the Open Python Design Benchmark, Open Cores, and the EPFL benchmarks. All benchmarks were first pre-processed using the method indicated in the graph and then passed into a commercial tool for technology mapping using the ASAP 7 nanometer library. As you can see, LS Oracle gives a 7.3% improvement in ADP, 8.17% improvement in PDP, and 12.9% improvement in EDP compared to AIGs. Significantly, the result is better than either AIG or MIG alone, demonstrating that improved performance is possible through a mixture of approaches. Although previous results were good, those were obtained using a commercial toolchain. An all open source toolchain is desirable. Open Road is an open source tool for ASIC synthesis capable of going from RTL to GDS. It broadly consists of three steps in the toolchain. First, Yozis for performing logic synthesis as well as Verilog parsing, etc. Second, the Open Road app which performs all steps from floor planning through global routing. And third, Triton Route, a tool for detailed routing. Because LS Oracle is, avail is available as a Yozis plugin, LS Oracle can be easily integrated with Open Road. We simply add the LS Oracle plugin to the Yozis installation in the Open Road flow and modify the synthesis script to invoke LS Oracle within Yozis. In this case, we pre-process with LS Oracle, or in the results to come, with ABC as a control, and then we pass it into the standard um, open road flow, meaning that tech mapping is still performed by ABC within Yozis. We tested this integration on the Black Parrot benchmark provided by the open road repository. This experiment used the NANgate 45 library and all settings were unchanged except for the synth.tql script as described in the integration on the previous slide. We saw excellent results with a 22.5% improvement in delay compared to the stock open road flow, which does not include any substantial logic synthesis aside from the Yozis presets. We saw this improvement in delay with negligible cost in area and power. Looking at the detailed results, we can see that LS Oracle reduced delay by about one and a half picoseconds compared to the original flow, with more or less no change in area and no change in power consumption. Uh, one interesting result is that LS Oracle reduced delay while ABC's Reason2 and Reason2RS scripts in the same place increased delay. This is something which we have occasionally seen with tightly written RTL, which is difficult to optimize. In this case, it would be typical for a designer to simply not run the optimization and to instead choose the original result. However, it is presented for completeness. In order to verify these results, we perform functional verification 
because the design was difficult to formally verify. In order to perform functional verification, the design had to be slightly modified. This involved moving some ports higher in the design hierarchy to allow the test bench access to them. We then reran the same tests described earlier on the modified design to ensure that the improvements remained and were valid. Taking a look at the detailed results for the verifiable version, we can see a broadly similar trend with a reduction of about 1.15 picoseconds in delay and again negligible difference in area and power consumption. What results can we draw from this integration? Well, initial results are very promising. A 22.5% improvement in delay with no overhead in power or area is very significant. And we have a similar result in the modified testable design, confirming that it's valid and not some sort of a fluke. It also outperforms homogeneous approaches through the use of mixed AIG and MIG synthesis. However, it's unlikely that all designs will see such a dramatic benefit. It depends on how much arithmetic logic versus control logic is in the design, how tightly the RTL is written, etc. More testing needs to be done with other designs, with other libraries, more complex SDCs, etc. in order to accurately gauge what sort of improvements are likely to be seen with LS Oracle in the open source ASIC design flow. However, such a promising result does suggest that the basic approach is sound, and it's in agreement with the results that we've seen using the commercial tool chain. LS Oracle is under active development and there is much improvement in the works. Three key areas are improving performance, application of machine learning, and reducing runtime and memory usage. In the improved performance area, we have implemented an improved AIG optimizer, which was not used in this work, and will improve performance substantially. In addition, there is an improved MIG LUT mapper, and we're working on tighter YOSIS integration, which can improve things down the line, including allowing, for example, timing-driven synthesis. In the machine learning front, we currently have an experimental classifier, which can guide the partition and module classification, rather than using the heuristic, which is currently applied in LS Oracle. And in addition, we're working on improving ASIC mapping using machine learning in order to predict better covers for the network. As far as reduced runtime and memory usage, we have already implemented multi-threading, as well as implementing an experimental multi-threaded partitioning engine, which dramatically reduces runtime. And in addition, there is a distributed cloud-based implementation under development using Apache Spark, which has the potential to greatly reduce runtime and to allow LS Oracle to be run without having to own a relatively costly high-powered machine to synthesize large designs. LS Oracle is an open source project which is freely available on GitHub under the MIT license. It has been tested on Linux and on Mac OS X and is available as a Docker image. We welcome new users and collaborators, so I would encourage you to please take a look at the repository and to feel free to get in touch with any questions that you may have. Documentation is linked from the GitHub page and has been recently updated. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope that you found this useful and that you'll find a use for LS Oracle in your own open source hardware projects.